What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Monday Morning Jumpstart. Man, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're as excited as I am about a brand new week because it just means it's another opportunity for us to live out our dream, for us to keep chasing our goals. And today I just want to ask you a simple question, and that's this question right here. Do you believe in you? And this is a very important question because most of us live our life waiting on somebody else to validate our dream and our goal. So for example, let's just say you have a a dream and a goal to lose 100 pounds. You're a little bit overweight and you want to lose some weight. That's a great thought. That's a great idea. But if you're sitting around waiting on somebody else to pat you on the back and say, hey, you can do this. You can do it. You're going to be in trouble because there's going to be days when there's nobody to be found. There's nobody for you to run to and say, hey, I need encouragement. There's nobody around. So that means you've got to have it inside you. You've got to take full responsibility for whatever it is you want. It's your dream in the first place. It's your goal in the first place. You can't just always be waiting on somebody else to encourage you. God has inspired this. He's breathed this dream and this goal inside you. He might not have done that inside everybody else. So you can't just always be waiting on somebody else to come along and encourage you. Sometimes you've got to have a little self-motivation. You've got to have a little uh, self-confidence in yourself to say, whether or not anybody else comes with me, I'm going after this dream that God's given me that I have in my heart. I can't always just rely on somebody else to come along and pat me on the back. Sometimes you're just going to have to reach back there and pat yourself on the back and say, hey, baby, let's go. Come on, let's do this. When you're trying to lose weight and you're waking up early to go to the gym and try to make this thing happen, sometimes you're just going to have to get in a rhythm. You're going to have to make yourself do things. Sometimes it's going to be difficult, but if you've ever heard me talk before, you've ever read my book before, you know I'm saying if it was easy, everybody would do it. It's not easy. That's why you're different. That's why you're watching a video like this right now and you're not out doing something else. And so the question for you today And this week, a question for you to ponder and think about throughout this week is, do you believe in you? Do I believe in me? And so, you know, I talk about this several times because I like to share real life examples. I like to be kind of transparent with you. I knew I wanted to write a book. And I knew, I didn't know anybody that had written a book at that point. Now I know a lot of people. But I didn't know anybody at that point. And so if I was constantly waiting on somebody else to say, hey, Russ, you got it in you. You just need to sit down and write it. You just need to do it. You need to go do it. And if I had to wait on somebody to, every day to say, Hey, Russ, did you write any this morning? Hey, Russ, how how you coming on that book? If I was constantly waiting, I, thankfully, now I have people that do that to me. But at the time, I didn't. And so it's not because they weren't good friends. It's because most of them didn't even really know I was chasing after in the first place. Because I didn't. I wanted this to be a, a dream that I had that I wanted to see come to fruition. God put this in my heart, put this in my mind, put this in my soul, and I wanted to see it come to fruition. So I knew I had to get this thing done with or without anybody else. Whether or not anybody else supported me, it was a dream of mine that I wanted to see come true, and I got it done. And the the thing that I learned, that I came through the other side, and I learned was that Whether or not anybody else supports you in your goal and dream, if you know, you really believe this is what God's called you to do, He's got you've got plans and you've got um, dreams for your life. That not only is it going to help you, it's going to help other people. And not only are you going to get through this dream and come out on the other side and be thankful that you went through within the first place, you're also going to get through the other side so you can point back to your example. You can teach other people through what you went through. So. Wrapping this thing up, plane's coming down for the landing. All right, if you are constantly waiting on somebody else, you may never get it done. So you need to look yourself in the mirror. I'm serious. Do this exercise right here. Go in your bathroom, find a mirror somewhere, get up close to it, look yourself in the mirror and say, what is it that I want to do with my life? What is it that I want to chase after? I'm not asking you what everybody else thinks you should do. I don't care if your mom and your daddy was a lawyer and they think that's what you're supposed to do with your life. I'm not asking you that. I'm not asking you if they want you to go to medical school. I'm not asking you if they want you to be a fireman. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you, what is it? What gifts do you have? What skills do you have that you want to chase after? That you feel in your heart, this is what I want to do. 
with the rest of my life? What is it? Don't worry about what everybody else says. Worry about you. What, what is it that God has given you already? I'm not asking you what everybody else says you should do. I'm asking you, what is it? Do you believe in you? What is it that you want to do with your life? And sometimes you're going to have to pursue it on the side until you can get to where you do that with the rest of your life. And that's just part of life. That's just how it is. We've got bills. You've got things you got to do. You've got family you got to take care of. Sometimes you're just going to have to pursue your dream on the side. But whatever it is, you've got to make sure you're in pursuit of something. Most people are passive. They just go through the motions. They hate their life, but they just go through the motions because they're waiting on somebody else to tell them what to do. They're waiting on somebody else to say, hey, this. They're waiting on the little angel to come whisper in their ear and say, all right. This is exactly what you're supposed to do. Now go after it and get it done. And guess what, guys? If you're waiting on that, you're probably not going to ever do anything else besides where you are right now. And if you're happy with where you are right now, that's great. Stay there and keep pursuing it. Keep chasing after that full time. Do it. But if you're, if you're unhappy with where you are and you want to do something different with your life, you want to make a difference in somebody else's life, you want to be an, a, a game changer in this world, then you've got to wake up. You've got to look yourself in the mirror, like I just said, and you've got to ask yourself, is this what I want to do with my life? And if you can't answer yes, then you've got to do some soul searching to find out what it is you want to do. And then you've got to chase after it, with or without everybody else. Because I promise you, when you get to where you want to go, and you're, you're chasing after it, and you're fulfilling the dream that you have for yourself, then people are going to be like, wow, that's awesome. He's doing what, he's, he is living his dream." whatever that may be. She's living her dream, whatever that may be. And then you're going to have an opportunity to impact them in a positive way when the same people weren't encouraging you before, but now all of a sudden they're hopping on, on the bus because they want to know what is this that you're doing. So all that to say, do you believe in you? And if you don't, do some soul searching. Get in God's Word. Seek Him in, in prayer. The Word says, seek Him. First, his kingdom and his righteousness and everything else will be given unto you. It doesn't say, ask everybody else what they think you should do with your life. Ask everybody else if they agree with you. Ask everybody else if they'll encourage you and pat you on the back along your journey. No, it says, seek first his kingdom. So, do that. Seek first his kingdom. Get in the word. Seek him in prayer. And ask him what, what he would have you to do with your life. And then chase after it, with or without everybody else. I believe in you. He believes in you. But the question today and this week is, do you believe in you? Share this with somebody else. Encourage somebody else with this. Let them know that whether or not you believe in them, they got to believe in themselves. You're awesome. And I'll see you next week on the Monday Morning Jumpstart.